The Dauphiné's longest stage was taking the peloton today from Anneron to Sisteron. The bunch reunited after the team's time trial from Wednesday, not entirely, however, as two men decided to leave after three kilometers out of the 228 the stage counts. Belgium's Tosh van der Sande and the Netherlands' Martin Kayser have a card to play while the road is flat. The Lotto Soudal and Lotto Jumbo riders soon made a difference. They were eight minutes clear of the peloton after 40 kilometers, a comfortable lead for the time being. Nasser Abouani, the green jersey wearer, got his team in action to start the chase of the breakaway riders. No help came from the other sprinters' team due to their lack of serious chance to win against the French sprinter. Recovering only one minute every 30 kilometers was not enough to make a junction, and the smile on Buenis' face was a little deceiving. After 200 kilometers of effort, the race changed. The leading duo weakened before tackling the last ascent of the day, the Côte de la Marquise. The information reached the peloton and the Movistar Cannondale and Garmin teams bounced back. Cyril Gauthier accelerated, but he was countered by Team Wellens. The Belgian caught, then dropped Martin Kayser. He didn't lead for long. Three kilometers to the finish line, he was swallowed by a hungry peloton. And like in villars les dombes the suspense of the outcome was poor. Kofidis Nasser Buani's victory was undisputed after he cleverly emerged from Taktevich's will. It's the second World Tour stage success for Buani this season. This 2015 Criterium du Dauphiné is a milestone in Nasser Buani's season. His first months riding for Kofidis were beginning to making doubt his ability to adjust to his new teammates. His success in villars les dombes has lifted some clouds. Today the peloton's gap seemed too wide to raise, yet the squad shook the final part. The last time Buani won two stages in the same event was last year in La Vuelta. I'm super happy with this second victory. It was really hard in the final part. The pace was strong in the last descents, but my teammates were very helpful. Without Julien Simon in the last kilometer, it would have been impossible to win today. The last finish in Cisteron was 11 years ago, and then Stuart O'Grady clinched the stage. Today, four Frenchmen get in the top 10, and Boigny remains in green. No change at the GC run. Dennis secures the yellow blue jersey for another day. His teammate Van Garder and or Vincenzo Nibali stay in close contention. On Thursday, the riders will start climbing with five passes, including the one at the finish at Pralou. This final ascent is not expected to be decisive, but the 40 kilometers uphill that come before might be. Before we see the Alps passes, let's linger on the views from today's stage.